It's time for business news with Richard Southern. Now, Richard, we hear the term cyber attack all the time now, unfortunately, and they can end up costing big money, Richard. Sure, I can. I just get a load, Erica, of Indigo Books and Music's latest earnings. They were not good. Uh, Indigo says cooling consumer demand and, yes, a big ransomware attack that it was the subject of back in February really dragged down earnings. It reported a loss today of almost $50 million for its latest financial year, which did see the cyber attack take down its website and payment systems. Uh, Indigo did say it, it did see some record-breaking online sales during Black Friday and Boxing Day, but it said sales outside of those periods were quiet. Still, Indigo is planning to launch a new digital platform this summer and open a new flagship store here in Toronto. The stock fell 5%. I think, Erica, uh, if I remember correctly, this company says it makes not most of its money not from books anymore, but from a lot of the trinkets that you see when you walk into an Indigo store. That's right. A lot of the home stuff. I certainly buy some once in a while. So, Okay, reaction continues to pour in a day after we learn the Toronto Star has entered merger talks with Post Media. I mean, this would have seemed unimaginable just a few years ago, right, Erica? Certainly. Two biggest competitors joining forces, quite something. Uh, so the day after reaction to this is a little bit mixed with, of course, a lot of people concerned about the state of journalism uh, in uh, Canada and in Toronto. Uh, some uh, experts calling it maybe a Hail Mary pass by these two companies to survive. Post Media, owners of the financial of the uh, National Post and the Toronto Sun, in merger talks with... Uh, the Toronto Star and its parent company, Nordstar Capital. It is reflective of the tough financial reality of the print industry right now, as we hear from this former head of journalism at the University of Toronto. The Toronto Star is making some money. Post Media is making no money. And in fact, they owe a lot of money to the people that have uh, are supporting them, which are New York basic hedge funds. And so that's the problem. Now, Post Media says if this deal does go through, the Toronto Star newsroom would be kept separate. However, many points to 2015, when Post Media bought a lot of Sun papers across the country, made the same promise, and then a year later, a lot of the newsrooms were merged. Erica, Post Media stock down 9% today after surging 50% uh, yesterday before this merger news came out. So make of that what you will. Mm -hmm. Some interesting moves in the stock. All right, and finally, one food delivery company is looking at new options for paying its workers. Yeah, DoorDash says uh, drivers will have the option now of getting uh, a an hourly salary instead of the just the flat fee for the delivery, if they so choose. The new option would allow the drivers to uh, choose to be paid hourly. The rate would begin when they accept the delivery and end when they drop it off. The option comes amid some criticism of the gig economy uh, companies like DoorDash. Uh, some say that they don't pay their workers not nearly enough, not even minimum wage. DoorDash stock up two and a third percent, Erica, today. Interesting. Could set a precedent, maybe.